anybody got a little come up on you, you finally done made it to the place where God has promised you that things would be a little better, things would get a little, little brighter, your load would get a little lighter, and you're able to put a little something down over here, you got yourself a little piece of car, yeah, 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 you're trying to go back to school, you done bought yourself a house, yes, you got a little money in the bank, tell somebody I got a little come up on me, yes, 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 and don't you dare minimize or diminish what God is doing in your life by comparing it to anybody else's life. What I want you to do instead is to think about where he brought you from. That'll be a reason to worship. That'll be a reason to witness because you might be the first in your family to go to college. Yeah, you had the baby, but you also went to college. You might be the first person in your family to own a business, yeah? You dibbled and dabbled in drugs. Lord have mercy, but you also started a business. You might be the first preacher, teacher, evangelist, deacon in your family, yeah? You got a little history on you. You got a little stank on it. You may have slept around a little bit, but you also are being anointed and used by God. And I come to remind you today that God has put the spirit of come up on you. Overseer told us a few months ago, I'm coming up and I'm coming out. And I don't care how down you've been. I don't care how low it's been. I don't care how long you've been waiting on God. I want you to know it's your come up season. 